Shalom. A pastor from Clifton Flat Alliance Church, Newcastle, was arrested in connection with the child sex thing in Mahoning County, Ohio. Jared Mills, a pastor and also an instructor at Butler County Community College, faces four felonies, including unlawful sexual conduct with a minor. His arrest was part of an anti-human trafficking operation that included the arrest of 179 people and the rescue of 45 children. The Butler County Community College said uh, Jared Mills is on a leave of absence and his current and his current has been reass reassigned to another instructor. So there was a sex sting case. Okay, there was an operation called Autumn Hope. And this thing was to believe the largest anti-human trafficking operation sting in Ohio history. Dozens of arrests were made by the Central Ohio Human Trafficking Task Force. So while they caught these individuals involved in this child sex thing, one of the people who they pointed out that was involved was a pastor. Out of all those people they arrested in this thing, a pastor slash an, an instructor for a community college was arrested along in that sting. <laughs> wow. Wow. The operation led to 109 human trafficking victims being rescued and referred to social services. Meanwhile, 76 missing and exploited children cases were cleared and 45 kids were physically recovered by the U.S. Marshal Services. Jared Mills is facing multiple felony charges, including uh, import importing an unlawful sexual conduct with a minor, importuning. Y'all have to y'all y'all better pray for discernment. Pray for discernment. Get a connection with the most high for yourself. Because again, I keep telling you guys, the agents are in these churches. The agents are in the churches. The witches, the warlocks, cult members, they are in the church. The congregation, they are in the church. The pastor themselves is in a secret sin. And they're agent. And you got these people laying hands on people, praying for them. And these people are, want to get delivered. And you got demons laying hands on people wanting to get free. But all they're doing is suppressing that demon. And when you get your discernment and when you enter these churches, okay, when you enter these churches, you're going to see who these agents are. Because they're going to do the same thing that these gang stalkers do right here. <laughs> They do that in the church too, all of them, because now they're going to start getting bothered by your anointing when you walk in there, especially when your discernment is on point. This is why y'all better get a connection with the most high for yourself. Read the Bible, read the scripture, be in prayer for yourself, have a relationship with the most high for yourself because the agents are in the church. They are. And you're going to spot these demons when the Most High's working with you, and when when He sharpens your discernment, you're gonna spot who they are. You are, you are. The Most High said, "Pick up your cross daily, and follow Him." 
daily. Pick up your cross. It was religion that got him killed. The Pharisees. Religion is what murdered him. And, now on, and, and on top of that, Yeshua himself was calling out these Pharisees. Was calling out the people in the church. Imagine if he was here today. I'll, imagine if he was here walking the earth still, Yeshua. And going into these churches. <laughs> imagine Paul still alive. Going into these churches. Because the agents are in the church, man. They're in the church. You go into a church with your discernment. You're going to see who the witches and the warlocks are. And they're the congregation. They, these are the people who are supposed to be laying hands on people. You're going to spot these gang stalkers, these monetary spirits. The agents are in the church. You're going to see them. They, they're going to still code each other what you see out here. They do it in the church. Their demons get bothered by when you have a real anointing, when the Most High is with you, working with you, and your discernment is sharp, it don't matter what church, what room, wherever you're going, their demons are going to get exposed. You're going to bother people's demons, especially when you tss, unplug from the matrix. That's why I, I tell you, don't be surprised once you tss, unplug. And you start looking at these people who you saw at one point in your life while you were sleep plugged in, who goes to church every single day, knows knows the word, all right? Because Satan appears like an angel of light. He knows the Bible more than all of us. These demons do too. So don't be surprised if you see these people who know the Bible, know the scriptures and all that. But because you woke up, you unplugged, and the Most High is working with you, gave you discernment. And you can spot these demons instantly. Don't be surprised if these people who you saw go to church every day, reading the Bible, praying in tongues, looking, you know what I'm saying? Looking all, you know, ah, you know, innocent. Don't be surprised when you see that demon in these people. Because you're going to see the their demons. Their demons are going to be bothered by you. Because they live in a secret sin. And the Most High will allow you to see their demons. Whatever their secret sin is, that demon is going to get exposed. That's what I tell you. Pray for discernment. Sharpen it. Have a relationship with the Most High for yourself. For yourself because the agents are in the church. They are. You're going to, you're going to see them. And you got these people laying hands on people. Laying hands on them. Demon filled, which is a warlocks in the congregation, demon filled, laying hands on people, praying for them, a fake deliverance. Now, not all of them do fake deliverance. You have your good people out there, good pastors, you got good congregation, but I'm talking about the ones that are corrupt. <laughs> You're going to spot them. But you got these people here laying hands on people. These people want to get free from demons, and all they're doing is suppressing that demon. And don't be getting fooled by those who speak in tongues. And, and they be saying all this stuff because, hey, <laughs> witches and warlocks and these Satanists, they speak in tongues too. That's why you got to test these spirits. Test it. Test these spirits out here because the agents are in the church too. Walk into a church, watch them start getting bothered by your anointing. You're going to see these witches and warlocks in a church instantly when you go inside. You're going to spot them. You're going to spot them. Then you got to look at that pastor in that church, that pastor. And look at him. And, and look at the leader of the church. When you see all the witches and warlocks and all these people on the side in the congregation, laying hands on people, doing what they're doing, putting demons in people, suppressing it. You got to look at that pastor and go, yo, where's your discernment? You don't see the witches, warlocks in your church. Oh, that's right. That's because you yourself is living in a secret sin. And you'll see that demon in that pastor too. I'm telling you, have a relationship with the most high for yourself. For yourself. For yourself. Pray for discernment. Have a relationship with the Most High. Read the Bible for yourself. Repent of all your sins. Nobody's perfect. Everybody has fallen short of the glory. You fall, you get right back up. And, re and, and repent. And also rebuke. But these agents are in the church. And you're going to see it. You're going to see it. And a lot of these churches as well, they play politics too. They play politics. 
but they all get exposed. They 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 play politics, just like with the government and all that. That's there's politics in church too. That's what Yeshua said. Don't trust in man. Trust in him. Trust in him. Pick up your cross daily and follow me. That's what Yeshua says. Pick up your cross daily and follow me. He doesn't say pick up your cross and listen to man. And no. There's politics in the church, in these churches. There are witches and there are warlocks and there are Satanists in these churches. Masons are also in the church too. Don't be sleeping on that. Yeshua went head on with these Pharisees. He went, he went head on with them. Come on. So pray for discernment. All right. Stay safe. Unplug from the matrix. Repent of your sins.